welcome back. My name is Rebecca and today I'm back with another, or my first, I have to say, mermaid painting. I know mermaid has passed, it's been a few weeks, but I have just never gotten around to edit this video and I've just been really busy with school with finals, but finals are almost over. I only have one more next week, but I was so eager to just do something creative. I like I've not done much painting or video editing or anything like that. I just kept it basic and like it was okay. I just prioritized school for once. But I'm generally just very pumped to create art. And this one especially was just really nice for me. I just felt really creative. Um, I did a mermaid in my usual style of watercolors, how I just typically do it. I love watercolors and I added a little otter. <laughs> I don't know if you can like see that it's an otter but it's a cheesy title. It's a little like no otter. I love cheesy kind of quotes so I felt like it was fitting and I didn't realize that but a point but that's like what I wanted to talk about today about like not love but like appreciating and value and things like that so it kind of just went very nicely together. I love adding little animals and I definitely want to do more animals in the future. I know I have a lot of plans, I always say that, like so much to do but animals, they're really cute and especially otters, they're just so fluffy and cuddly and just mm, instantly makes you smile so I definitely want to add more otters into my art. Anyways, enough about me. I wanted to talk about you because that's a topic that I wanted to just get into that I've been thinking about more over the last few months. I've been thinking about my YouTube channel and what exactly is my place with it? What exactly do I want to achieve? And like, how does it fit into my life? Um, I've recently just been watching a lot of videos on people giving advice on YouTube and growing on your audience and like a ton of things, not even related to artists, just generally. And I'm not desperate to grow, but just I want to grasp this concept a little bit more because I'm also just interested how it works. And what you always hear is value. And it sounds simple, you know, giving value, yes, obviously, but it's it really is giving value and I realized that I've never done this before really or not until recently. It kind of hit me when I did the giveaway and I was so surprised. I did not expect that these tiny little cards that I really just did on a like random note, they were not anything like finished or polished or they were super random in my opinion. And they went like that. They went in 24 hours and I was so blown away. Like, not that I didn't expect it, nobody wanted them, but it just showed me that that was an option. The biggest thing I realized was that I love giving things. Yes, obviously it's nice if people appreciate your art and you get compliments and all of that, but really I strive when people, people get happy when I do something that sounded weird, but you know what I mean. It's something I do all the time in a genuinely loving way. I work as a nurse, I work in care, this is what I do all day long. I listen to people, I take care of them and this is truly what I love. And I don't know how why it took me so long to realize it with YouTube because I can do the exact same thing. I can take care of people, I can give value to people. Frankly, I'm not quite sure what that means right now for me because I'm not really that sure if people want to see tutorials, if they want to see like, I don't know, advice or something, because I always thought that I was not at a point where I'm an expert, but I realize now that everybody has something to give and everybody wants something. So I just have to figure that out what that is and what makes me happy. But what definitely does make me happy is giving. So I don't think I will be too restricted in that area. Um, maybe it will be a little bit random. I definitely have to like figure things out. I have to try things out like what works for people and you know, what audience because that's always something people talk about like get your audience and for now I always thought like well I'm an artist. I do artist work. I do like drawings. I do reviews stuff like that like what everybody does and, and it's totally okay if you do that but you have to think about just as a viewer, just plain and simple. You want to get something out of it. Like there has to be something why somebody would click on a video. If it's awesome artwork, then yeah, that's probably a good reason. But giving something makes sense 
or at least it makes sense for me. I always thought I had to put myself more out there, you know, be more extra, be more outgoing and showing what I can. And obviously, yes, I have to be confident even now, but I realize now that I should be confident in what I can give and not in what I should have, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if I can make sense of this, but I just, I changed my mindset. I'm not somebody who like really needs a lot of recognition. I don't need a lot of praise and things like that. And I, I, I guess I put myself down because of that, but I realized that I can flip this thing around. Um, it would make me really happy if I can help somebody. I, I wanna focus that on my channel, that I wanna have a vibe in my channel overall. I wanna give the vibe of positivity. I wanna motivate people to do art, to start art, to be confident in yourself, that they can do it, that art is a beautiful thing. I wanna get to the core of things. It's not about being perfect. It's not about doing a certain style or doing a certain thing. It's just building up confidence in people that they can do what they want. And it, it even doesn't have to be just about art. It can be about anything in life. I want to give that that emotion, that passion, I'm not sure how to call it, but I want to give that kind of value and it's going to be interesting. I feel like now I'm much more driven because I kind of can puzzle it together. So I want to ask you guys, what do you think about this? Do you have these thoughts about your own channel or do you feel like there's a need for anything? Um, I want to ask you guys if you have some like things or if you think like, no, this is not needed. What kind of videos do you look at if you search for YouTube? What is appealing? And I know this is different for everybody and that's the interesting thing, you know, but I mean, I know you people. I know so many of you uh, for years now. I've been on YouTube for so long now and I really, really appreciate everybody who is watching my videos. And I really, I'm, I feel quite bad about it, but like I've been adding everybody's videos to just watch later. It's just an insanely long playlist by now because I just didn't have time so far. And again, I'm not really somebody who just writes like, oh, good video. I really love taking my time watching a video, um, building an opinion and you know, giving advice and not saying that like writing a comment takes forever, but I probably do take more time than other people writing comments. I'm just, I just like to overthink things a little bit too much. I will now go through all the videos and I will just go to people's profiles and videos and show them some loving. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are about this and if you have had some, you know, other things going around. Um, I would love to know. I really didn't talk much about this art piece. Like I said at the start, I love how this came out. It was just really fun. I really hope I can do more mermaids, but I also want to just do like live streams and be a little more confident in this because that's like the biggest thing is like, what will I say and what will I do? And yeah, it kind of sounds scary, but that's something I want to do. I want to talk more about the like topics like this. That's pretty much it for today. I'm going to cut it short here. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe to my channel. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. So bye.